I think that's one of the biggest problems when it comes to reinventing ourselves. We get comfortable. We get complacent. We don't want to put forth the effort to change our lives. And that can be the most dangerous part of having fear. How's it going, Reinventors? I'm Amelia. This is Reinventing You, the channel where you can get inspiration so that you can reinvent your own life. I would love for you to live a life of joy, fulfillment, and purpose through reinventing yourself. I know that this is probably the fifth or sixth video I've done on fear, but I have to tell you that's probably something that comes up a lot in my own life, and I have to find the courage each and every day to reinvent myself and be the person that I aim to be. I hope this video is helpful for you. I can't tell you how many times I've watched other videos, other creators, never subscribed, never liked, never commented. I do try to watch all the way to the end, but let me tell you how much it means as a creator here on YouTube for you to subscribe if you're not already subscribed, for you to like a video, and please comment. Those mean, not, it's not just about the algorithm, which is important on YouTube, but it's also meaningful for me and other creators so that we know what we're producing, the content we're creating is helpful for you. So thank you for all your support. Now let's get into the video. I recently watched a little bit of a video by Mel Robbins and she's the she's the creator of the 54321, <laughs> the creator of ways to get over your anxiety and just go ahead and do things. And she was complaining like I have been about how it seems like everything that's going on in the world, people aren't doing what they need to be doing. And it's creating fear within ourselves. It's creating this kind of, I guess, paralyzation. We're not able to do anything because we see all the stuff around us. And we're going, oh, I can't believe that he's doing this. I'm not doing this. Blah, 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 blah. She was just saying, when she sees all this happening and she sees her kids doing these crazy things, she has to say, okay, how do I get through what I'm afraid of? How do I keep going despite my fears? And so she turned to the first U.S. Navy Tomcat fighter pilot for F-14s, Carrie Lowens. One of the things that I did once I heard about this and called Span of Control, I said, okay, well, let me find out what Carrie actually had to say. And I found the video. I have it up here in the cards and also in the descriptions below if you want to check that out. Basically, what she's saying is talking about working through your fears, not getting over your fears or pretending they're not there, but being able to do the most you can despite the fears that you're feeling. And when I say doing the most that you can, I'm talking about handling a major <laughs> $45 million fighter pilot <laughs> for the U.S. Navy. And if she can do it, you and I can do that as well. I've talked about this before. How do you suppress your fears? How do you use your mental strengths to say, I'm not going to you know, let fear stop me. And I've said it before, you know, courage is not the absence of fear. It's going ahead and doing something despite your fears. Your fears aren't going to go away, but there is a trick that you can use to get yourself some mental clarity. There is a way that you can push through or maybe even punch through your fears and keep going despite still feeling that fear, but not letting it paralyze you from doing what you need to do. That is the kind of thing that we need right now in this time, whether it's just dealing with what's going on in the world or reinventing ourselves. In order to overcome your fear, you've got to focus on the most important things. Now, Carrie Lowens calls this span of control, and she actually gives it, she actually gave it like three or four different monikers. But what she said, there was a list of like 15, 20 things that a fighter pilot must always know in the air. But when it came down to landing on an aircraft carrier in the dark and overcoming your fears, there were some things that you had to do. And basically, she was saying you had to really focus and you had to focus on the most important things and not to worry about everything else that's going on until you've stopped the plane. I think that's really important for us to hear, especially right now. We have to figure out how we can clarify and focus 
on the really important things. The three things she called, she said that were important was to aviate, navigate, communicate. And she said, you have all these instruments in front of you on the panel, but you have to focus on those three things. And, you know, if something goes wrong, you have to eject, but then that's just a huge deal right there. But what she's saying is you have to not worry about all the other dials. You have to not worry about everything else that's going around, the bells and the whistles, people screaming at you, whatever. You have to focus on the three things that are most important. The focus and simplifying it is the way to get through and punch through despite your fear. One of the things that Carrie Lowens talks about is the fact that focusing and simplifying really allows you to get stuff done. And it also helps you to avoid being average or not doing well in whatever you put your mind to. Because if you are getting a snack out of the pantry and you make all these nice crunchy sounds, it could become an ASMR video. <laughs> Maybe a bad ASMR video. Feel the tingles. You told me to do whatever I need to do. I know, I know. The thing is, is that, yeah, the floor is like... <laughs> Between the floor and the chips and the pantry and your crocs. All right, I'll leave you. Bye right. bye. Thanks. If you are full of fear, if you are trying to multitask and do everything at once and you know tackle everything, then you're going to be overwhelmed. You're going to be distracted. You're going to have burnout. And you know, most of us, when we decide to reinvent ourselves, we were already overwhelmed and distracted and burned out. We don't need that again in our lives. So we simply need to focus on the three things we need to be about. Now, once you've accomplished those three things, like Carrie says, you know, you've landed the plane, you've come full stop, now you can deal with all that stuff that's happening, like the fire in the engine or people yelling or whatever's going on out there. That's when you can deal with all this stuff. But you've got to focus on those three things, especially when you find yourself full of fear. So what are the three things that you are needing to focus on? What are the three things that are in your control? What are the three things that will help you focus so that you're not distracted? What are the three things that you can multitask on at this time? I would like to use the example again of my response to everybody else's response to the pandemic. And that is there are a lot of things that I could be doing in this time period, but I feel like they're, they're the three things that I need to be focused on so that I'm not overwhelmed by my fear is number one is take care of myself and be safe. And when I say that, I mean wear a mask, social distance, stay at home or stay away from you know groups. So one thing I can do is simply to take care of myself. And the second part is to focus on this channel. Let this channel and my work on YouTube and being a creator, you know, give me some focus so that I'm not distracted by all this other stuff. The third thing for me is focus on issues in within my family. In other words, we are in the process of eventually moving within the next calendar year. So I need to be focused on what I need to do to help that along. Those are three things that I can, I know they seem really big, but because there's so much out there that's distracting me, there's so much out there that I could be doing and I really need to focus on those three. And that's just an example. I don't know what it's like in your world and your reinventing process, but think about what are the three things that you can focus on. And I want you to, in the comments, tell me what those are, because if you don't write them down, if you don't think those through, you're going to forget them and you're not going to know what they are. So I encourage you in the comments below, let me know what are the three things that you're going to focus on. The thing is, if you're truly fearful, you really cannot ignore it because it will simply take over your life. You think you're ignoring it and it really is affecting every part of you. And it's going to take, continue to do that. That's what 
fear does. So you can't just say it doesn't exist. Also, there is a positive thing about fear. Fear is something we do need as part of our survival mode. It helps us get through rough times. It can help us act quickly in certain circumstances. It can let us know if there's a true danger to ourselves. And yet, it can also paralyzes. It can also make us unable to make decisions. So there's a good thing and a bad thing about fear. We don't want to just suppress it and not have any fear, but we also want to work through it. If you don't have fear, then you become complacent. And I think that's one of the biggest problems when it comes to reinventing ourselves. We get comfortable. We get complacent. We don't want to put forth the effort to change our lives. That can be the most dangerous part of having fear. It makes us not make any changes, and then we end up in a worse place than we were in the beginning. We need to fight and fight through the fear. I hope this way of conquering your fear will help you so that you can continue to not just thrive, but to reinvent yourself as well. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it with other people who are having to deal with a lot of fear in their lives. Don't forget to check out these videos and have a great one.